men's and women's coach David Palomo said he is confident his team will perform to expectations, but it will be a tough challenge. They will have to train harder and be on top of their game in order to succeed. The Tahitians won 11 of the 12 gold medals during the 2011 Pacific Games in New Caledonia and the host country won the other. That is the challenge the members of the Guam team will have to bear in mind. Palomo said the primary focus has been their fitness and timing on the water, and the paddlers has been pushed beyond their limits, having completed the 18-mile distance road and sprints. In total, they finished about 38 miles in three days. The team suffered a disappointing result, finishing with just three medals between the men's and women's teams in the 18th Micronesian Games in Pompeii. Coach Palomo said they are anticipating the worst that could have happened because they actually experienced it and they should be in a better position to avoid similar situation in PNG. Paloma again said they have meddled before and it's possible to do it again. If Guam is this wild card that the bigger countries have to respect, then they are not just here to participate. The team will arrive in PNG well in advance of the race and have a few days to get in the water and test out the course before the games. Shane, Saroya National, MTV Sports.